pleased and, in fact, honored to be able to lend what support I can to Mecca since its origins. They do in, incredible work, uh, courageous uh, work of uh, enormous significance for a uh, major problem, the problems of facing the children in, uh, under occupation and under uh, military attack. And uh, they've had a great record of success. They fought Fort Barbara in particular, but the organization altogether has had many barriers to overcome, and they've dealt with them extremely effectively. The, the water project is the one particularly poignant. I mean, you know the background. They, they one of their trips to uh, Gaza, a recent one, Barbara Lubin led it. They, they just asked children. What do you want most? What can we do for you? And the answer they got from one after another place was the children just said the, most, the thing we want most is to have a drink of, of water every day. I mean, it tells you something that they have to ask for that. It tells you something about ourselves because these policies are not just Israeli policies. They're U.S. policies. If the U.S. wanted to stop that, they can do it instantly. The U.S. supports it, uh, and therefore Israel can get away with it, and therefore we have children pleading for a glass of water, and Mecca can at least begin to do that with uh, local Palestinians, uh, local materials, Palestinian engineers. They certainly need a lot more than that, even for the water. What they need is filtration systems to uh, eliminate the, uh, the poisons in the water, the nitrates and others, and that will take more technology and support, but they're, it's an important start, and it ought to uh, inspire other people. We almost shame other people to become involved in it, but for myself, I'm delighted to be able to be a small part of it.